Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Recently I did a post about how to insert a line at the change of the items in a column, whether it's in a table or a data range. And I recently had a request of instead of inserting a line, how to insert a blank row at each change of items in uh, one of the columns in a data range. So we're going to look at that today. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a table here and notice the salespeople. Uh, there's uh, Ed and then Jack, Jane, Terry, etc. And I want to put a blank row every time that changes. Here I have a table and then here I just have a regular data range. So we'll start with the table and in order to do this, now there's multiple ways of doing it. I'm sure there's VBA code, unfortunately. I'm not real familiar with VBA. Um, and I'm sure there's many ways you can accomplish this. I'm gonna use a helper column to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start um, in column I here, which is one column next to my table. And I'm just gonna insert the formula equals, in this case, B3, that name equals the cell above. Notice I didn't start in the first row, I started in the second row. And I'm going to hit enter and Excel is going to enter that formula and then that entire column. And notice where it has false is the first time that the name will change. So every place that there's a false, that name has changed. Uh, it did it also for the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because that's going to would insert a row above and I don't want to do that. Now I'm just going to select all these items here and I'm going to convert those to their values. So there's multiple ways to do that. In this case, I'm going to copy and then right click and paste special values. And now instead of a formula there, I have true or false. Again, I'm going to select those and now I'm going to do a control F, which is a find. And I want to find the word false and I want to do a find all and expand this list now Excel will give me a basically a hyperlink every place that the word false appears in the area I highlighted I'm going to hold down my shift key select the last one and now Excel has highlighted all those areas where the word false appears I can now close this and now every place that the word false is highlighted, I'm going to insert a row. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control plus, which will bring up the insert dialog box. I'm going to select entire row and say OK. And now Excel has inserted that blank row every place that the name has changed. I can now select this column, do a control minus to delete it. And now my table has a blank row every place that that has changed. The range really is going to work out the same way. The only difference is I'm going to say again equals this cell equals the cell above. Hit enter. Copy that down. I don't have to worry about deleting that top one because in a data range, it doesn't automatically populate the whole column. Now again, I'm going to do a control C, right click, do my paste values. And while I have all that selected, control F, find all. Again, I'm going to expand that down. Hold down my shift key so they're all selected. I can close this. I'm going to do a control plus down to entire row, hit enter. I can now delete this column. And again, I have a blank row inserted every time the salesperson has changed. And that's how you can do that in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.